Hey, welcome to another plan with me and I am Erica D and I am doing this video to show you my plans as little as they will be for the week of December 23rd to 29th. I know I say for as little as they can be because that seems weird on Christmas week. You'd think there'd be tons to do, but you know, because it's break and vacation, there's actually a little less on the to-do list, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, so first thing I will do, since I'm using the Happy Planner, is take these off of the discs, and I'll put my planner to the side, and then I'll lay this out. So a few things you might notice is that I have already done some of the decorating. I um, pre-decorate my planner most of the time, and so these decorations actually went on. This is all just washi tape. That's all it is. This all went on back when I was on fall break. I am a public school teacher, and so fall break gives me a little bit of time to focus and do this. And so I did all my washi until, actually this is the last week I did, so next week is not pre-decorated. You can see, peek, nothing there. Um, but So I did pre-decorate. Um, I For the month of December, my first week was mostly green, my second week was mostly red. Last week was kind of a red and green thing. It ended up being more of a pastel red and green. And then this week I kind of went with glitter, glitz, gold, shiny stuff. So it's red, green, and gold, but it's really, really glittery. Um, the first thing I need to do, and I might have to hit pause because I have to find my eraser. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna go look for my eraser, but the first thing I have to do, I had my planner open on my desk a few weeks ago and I was in another room actually doing auditions for a musical and a student walked into my room, saw my planner, flipped to this day, and decided to write her birthday in my planner. She thought that'd be hysterical, which honestly, I think it's hysterical too. However, I don't want it there. So I'm gonna go find my eraser. I'll be right back and we're gonna get that off of there. Well, I can't actually find the eraser. I actually got one out, had it laid out so that I could be prepared to do this, and it has walked off. So I'm gonna hope that this pencil eraser will do the trick. Um, and apparently, Miss Samantha wrote really darkly, <laughs> darkly, really dark, really hard on the paper, and I'm not sure I can get this up. So I may have to get creative with a sticker or something to um, cover that because I do want this to look kind of clean and I want to be able to use this space. Now I will admit I did think it was hysterical that she did it. So when I made my stickers, I always make my own stickers. Some of them. I have lots of Happy Planner stickers too, but I do make some of my own. So when I made it, I actually turned what she wrote, I don't know if you can see that, into a sticker just a little bit smaller so it doesn't take up, you know, almost a third of my day on Saturday. So I am still going to put her birthday in there just because she kind of made me laugh by putting it in my planner, but it's gonna be smaller. So I will have to get creative on how I cover that up. I have to use a colorful box or something because I can't get it all the way up because Miss Samantha apparently wrote really darkly. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right, um, because this is Christmas week, like I said, there's a lot to do for Christmas, but there's not as much, you know, as far as like practices, rehearsals, places to run the kids, things like that. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm just going to get down to it. So Monday, which is actually tomorrow because I'm filming this on Sunday night, I have to do a lot of shopping. Um, being a music teacher... <laughs> I know this sounds big and whiny and pathetic and all, but it's still true. Being a music teacher, I don't have a lot of time to shop during, you know, before now because I'm doing concert after concert after concert after concert. Um, and it doesn't help that my husband is a music teacher too. So between he and I, we just haven't had time to get anything done. Did a little shopping today and we're gonna do the rest tomorrow. So I have found this sticker so much to do in this seasonal sticker book by Happy Planner. And then I found these circles that say shop and these tags that say wrap. And they are in um, Memory Keeping Holidays book. And so I think I'm gonna combine them a bit since we've got some circles and some cir a circle here. So I'm gonna take this one 
I'm not positive what I'm going to do here. Wow, that doesn't want to come out. It looks like it's coming out, but it's actually taking the paper up. There we go. So take this, take one that says shop, and then one that says wrap. I think I'll go with this darker red for wrap. And it does have, I don't know if you can tell, but it does have a little um, hole right there, you know, like where you would tie the tag on if this were a real tag. So I want to make these into sort of a little messy vignette here. Um, so, so much to do. Shop, wrap. That's going to be my <laughs> big chunk of my Monday. I don't know if I like that you can see that green circle through that, but I think that it'll be all right. Does it need one more circle? Like, should I put a little piece of candy on it? I could use this so much to do. See, this green is not quite like this green, but this one's not either. If I pull this over to this, oop, just knock stuff down. That is actually closer to that glitter, isn't it? Maybe I should pull this one up. I wonder if I still can. See, this is what I run into. I get all particular, and, and then I regret being particular. I think I am gonna do that, though. I'm gonna put this guy back in here, and I'm gonna use this one for so much. Oh yeah, that matches much better. That I like that. Let's go with that, and then I'm gonna turn this in a way that the white shows through on the little tag instead of the green. Okay, yeah, I like that. Cool. So tomorrow morning we're gonna be getting up. We're gonna be doing shopping. It's gonna be crazy at the mall and it wherever we go I know that but we're still that's where we're at um, a few other things do have to happen tomorrow um, for and I, I'm glancing over at my Google Calendar which is on my calendar over there um, I do plan with paper but I also plan on Google Calendar because it can be on my phone which I can take anywhere I can also share it with my family members so nobody can ever say I didn't know such and such was happening it's right there it's on your calendar it's on your phone so I do it on paper because I'm a tactile person and I just love paper and stickers and it makes me happy and it gives me joy to look at it. So I actually do have planners in two places, online and on paper. So as I glance at that, I do realize my husband will have a Newsies performance. I'm gonna count how many he has this week. He has Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I made six stickers, but I'm only gonna need five of them. So which color do I go with for Monday? Hmm, I guess I'll go with the, no, I'm gonna go with the gold. I don't know why, but I am. So I'm gonna put gold here because he does have a Newsies performance. I'm gonna put it here because it's kind of later in the day it's not night time but it is later in the day um, I'm not a strictly chronological planner you know morning afternoon and night but I do like to try to keep things in a basic order so that's why I'm putting that there because that performance is in the afternoon also on that day we are going to a private screening and I have to walk away and get my sticker book in just a sec A friend of ours has actually rented out a movie theater. We have an old fashioned movie theater in town. Um, I mean, it's very old and it's very awesome. And he's rented out the entire theater and invited a bunch of people to see the new Star Wars. So I want to give this, I know I have these boxes I made, but I really want a little more space. So I got the colorful boxes sticker book and I'm gonna use a gold one. I could use red or green, I guess. In my memory, their red isn't quite right. Nope. And neither is the green, I don't think. Actually, this isn't horrible, is it? Maybe I should use that since I just used gold on the Newsies sticker. Newsies, by the way, my husband is performing in a semi-professional um, production of Newsies over the entire Christmas break, winter break. And so that's what that is because I don't think I explained that. All right, so I am gonna take this and I'm gonna go over the green a little because it does match. And this is where I'm going to put 
that private screening of Star Wars that we get to go to. I'm so kind of excited about that. Um, even though it's break, we still have trash night, I believe. I think they'll still pick up because it's Chris on Christmas Eve just because it's so early. Um, I'm going to do it anyway. I'll still put the trash out, and if they don't pick it up, then so be it. But I'm going to put it out just in case because in the past they have come on holidays, and we haven't put it out, and we've been like, well, crud, now what do we do? We've got this trash to sit around for a whole week. So I am going to, I don't like these reds, so I'm going to use one of my stickers. That's like a deeper red. So I've got the gold, the green, I'm gonna use a red. Um, oh, that's right, I know what I was supposed to do. I did make these stickers that say no school. So now everything's gonna be out of whack. I should have moved everything up. I do wanna use these just because later on when I look at this, you know, like when I leaf back through it, which I do sometimes, I just wanna remember that this was break, not that it'd be easy to forget. You know, it's Christmas week, of course there was no school. But I still want to be complete. So I made these little stickers, it's really easy. It's just a text box filled in with another text box with the um, words, no school. I did make them perfectly to fit in the boxes. However, um, another thing I guess I should explain, I like to embrace the fact that it's a vertical planner. Many people, when they put their washi down, they follow these horizontal lines you see here. I embrace the fact that it's a vertical planner and I like to emphasize the verticalness of it and almost ignore these lines. In fact, I've been known sometimes to just white them out completely, just take this and white them out. I don't need to do that with this planner because they're very light, but I've done it if they're black lines. So this I made to fit perfectly, but now that the washi kind of widened this line, um, which narrowed the box. I have to cut that down a bit. That does still give me room to put the trash on shot night. Um, there is a, one of my family members has a health condition in which they need to take a shot once a week, just a maintenance medicine. And so we always do that on the same night as trash just to help us remember. Now, as you can see, I also plan with post-its. Let me move these sticker books out of the way. And the reason I plan with post-its is so that I can take this and just move it to next week. Easy as pie. That's actually wrong, but I'll fix that next week. Um, so I do plan with post-its, things like rehearsals and trash night and things that happen every week. I can just move them back and forth, and then I don't even have to look over at my Google Calendar. I can just see it right there. All right, so errands I'll put here for our shopping. Newsies, Star Wars, shot and trash, no school. Done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these no schools while I'm at it. They don't take up a lot of space. Again, because I put my washi down, it did slightly, it means my um, stickers are slightly too wide. I didn't cut that very well. So I need to shrink them. I didn't cut that well at all, oh well. Again, this is all for me. So if it's not perfect, I live because I'm the one who has to enjoy the planner. I'm the one who has to look at it. So if it's not perfect, I'm mostly okay with that. <laughs> I made these stickers this kind of yellow color, kind of trying to mimic the um, gold washi. This sticker, you can tell I used kind of a... Um, Basically, I just found a glitter texture with a Google search online. So you can't make actual glitter. You can't print actual glitter, of course. Uh, at least I haven't found out how to do so. And so you just gotta get the closest you can get. So that one is fake glitter, and then this is just kind of one of the colors in this fake glitter. I tried to make these stickers the fake glitter but when I did, you couldn't read the words no school. It just, it was just too busy and you couldn't see them. So I went with this yellow. I don't think, yep, okay. And one more. And I'm of course not putting no school on Saturday and Sunday because that goes without saying. Although we have had school on Saturday one time. 
there was one year we had so many snow days that we were going to have to come back to school for like many days after high school graduation. And that just doesn't work with a school calendar very well. And so they decided to give us school on a Saturday. Um, it was awful, <laughs> it was miserable. The kids did really well, but it was just miserable. It made for such a long week. But my daughter loved it because the Saturday we came to school happened to be her birthday. So she kind of, she was in like, kindergarten or first grade she was really young and so she was like convinced we all went to school on Saturday just for her birthday she thought it was the best so <laughs> that was kind of funny actually all right I digress okay so no school all week got that next we have Christmas Eve now I'm looking over here I've got a pile of sticker books um, I kind of like this one that says Merry Christmas but I want to wait for Christmas for that um, Nothing here that says Merry Christmas. I'll put that aside. There's one that had too many sticker books. Oh my goodness gracious. There was one that had like all the days, like all the holidays on it. <coughs> Pardon me. And so it had, you know, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day on it, but I'm not seeing that sticker book. So I don't know where that went off too. I did have one though. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna label Christmas Eve right this second, because there is a sticker somewhere that says Christmas Eve. It's not in here. I feel like it's in like a student book or something that has like all the different holidays kind of script written on one page. But I'm not seeing it. It's not in colorful boxes. It's not in the one that says stickers. I think I already looked in this one, didn't I? Yeah. It's not here. Where did that go? This one just says stickers. Could it be here? See, it was a page like this. But instead of just saying, you know, shopping and such, it actually said... It had all the different holidays on. This is it. Ta-da. Okay. Well, that was very difficult, but I found it. All right. So Christmas Eve is what I want here. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going, should I put it at the down here because it's our Christmas Eve service? Or should I put it here to mark the whole day? I want to put it here to mark the whole day, and then I'll use something else to mark our Christmas Eve service at church. It is Christmas Eve. Ta-da! Okay. Why do I say ta-da all the time? I don't know, but I do. It's just a thing with me. Um, I kind of want to surround that with some something decorative and pretty. I thought I had... See, I have too many sticker books. I thought I had some some poinsettias and stuff but they had the they had gold in them instead of just the yellow maybe it was this book let's see here i think it was this book i say that and then it's not gonna be and i'm gonna be embarrassed it's not <laughs> oh goodness i am falling flat today Nothing I want to do is working out right. There it is. Found it. I know what else I wanted to do too. So I should move that sticker. I wanted to put a banner across these two days. See, I thought this was going to be such an easy week to plan because there aren't many plans. Sorry if my head's poking out on the video there. But it's not an easy week to plan because, I think because it has so little plans like that, slightly stresses me out. I don't know where the banners went that I was going to use. See, I don't know where anything is. They were like these, but they were flags. Oh, that's right. They're in this book that I don't get to use very much. These paper glitter stickers. I never see anybody use them online. I rarely see them anywhere. And so I have a green one here, and then on another page somewhere, there's a red one, so I'm gonna use the green here 
to mark Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Again, I can't get the sticker off of the backing. These stickers are very, um, almost like fabric-y. They're so pliable. So you kind of have to, kind of have to treat them with a little bit of kid gloves here. Oh, I love how that almost blends in with the uh, washi at the top there. Yeah, that's cute. Yay! All right, now I'll put my Christmas Eve down. Christmas Eve there. Okay. Um, while I have this out, and before I lose it again, because apparently losing stickers is a thing I'm doing tonight, I'm going to go ahead and put the red one on the weekend. Except I haven't yet covered that up, have I? Covered that up. So I could cover it. I think I have some red stickers in this book. This is just gold stickers. I don't even know what that means. But that's what it's called. There we go. I don't like the red, it's too cherry. Um, but I like this gold. So I think, well, maybe I like the polka dots better. They're a little more confetti-like, you know, with celebrating. So I think I'm going to use these. And they're a little less in your face. It's not as obvious I'm covering up Samantha's stuff. Can I put it this way? I can. I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so then do I still put the banner down? I'm gonna try it. The weekend is not super important to celebrate when you're on vacation. You know, what's the difference between a weekend and then a, a weekday when you have the whole week off? But, still going to mark it. Did I mention that these stickers are really fluid? They just, there's no stiffness so they don't hold their shape. They're pretty when they're down though. Okay, I'm not sure I love that, but I'm gonna keep it. All right, uh, huh. now I wanted some poinsettias, right? Just for fun. Maybe instead of a giant poinsettia, I'll just use these holly pieces. Are these, are these holly? Probably not holly, probably more like just pine tree pieces. <laughs> I'm just gonna use that, I like that. Maybe one more, just to fill it in a little bit. Do I want them to cross each other? No, that's too busy. I shall do it like this. Since it's a clear sticker, I can overlap them slightly there. All right, I don't think that's necessary, but I like it, so I'm gonna do it. Now, Christmas Eve, we do have a Christmas Eve service that night. Again, I could use one of these boxes I made, but I think I want to use a gold box just because it's Christmas Eve and I've got a lot of gold in this one, so I'm gonna use some gold. So we have our Christmas Eve service at church. I don't need it quite as big as this because there's not as much to write. I really only need to write the time. So I will put that here. I'm gonna leave myself some space in case me and the family decide, the family and I decide to do a little something afterwards. Not that we can go shopping or anything, but you know, we could, if I wanna put something. And then here I can put to-dos or I can just fill out memory or whatever I want to. Now, the question is for Christmas. Do I do the same sticker that, the same book that this one came out of and just do Christmas day, you know, so they kind of match? Or do I go a little bigger and use this? I think that answer is easy. It is Christmas. I'm going big. I have something stuck on my finger. Oh, it's where I like, cut off these things. It's still stuck on me. That's been stuck the whole time and you guys didn't tell me. <laughs> these stickers, I think this sticker book's really old so they aren't pulling up very well. All right, Merry Christmas. I'm gonna slide it down just because up here is kinda, well, I can fit it there. 
No, I think I'm going to do it right here. And I have to cut it ever so slightly right here because it went into the, um, the cutout for the discs. But that is easy to remedy with an X-Acto knife. Got it. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that. I like that. I don't even mind that you can see the, the washi behind it. I think it's kind of fun. I wasn't going to use this, but it's got that yellow that I used down here, so I think I am going to. I shouldn't have to put much on Christmas because, you know, all we're going to do is open presents and hang out at home, right? So. I don't know where to put it, though. Can you tell? Could put it down here. That actually could be really sweet, couldn't it? I think I'm going to. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Notice I'm talking myself into liking it. <laughs> um, all right, there's just not going to be anything written on this day, so I kind of feel the need to fill it with stickers, but I mean, really, why do that, you know? Is there anything else in this book I need? Yes, there is. I'm going to use these stickers in a second. I'm going to keep that open. Um, if I want to fill that with stickers, what would I fill it with? Love this. That's sweet. And it's the right dark color. I don't love any of those. Kind of like that, but it's the wrong colors. And I know it shouldn't matter, but it kind of does. Bullets. More bullets. Oh, what fun. So I could do that. Is there anything in here? I've used most of these. I could just fill it with poinsettias and just, I do like poinsettias a lot. So I could do that. I just don't like this style of artwork. I need to just rip this page out and give it away to somebody. I know that sounds horrible, but I don't. Christmas menu. That is a gigantic sticker. This must be for the big sticker book, or the big planners. I don't know how to tell that, but it must be, because this is gigantic. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this to make it fit. Put that right there for now. Cut these off of here. Maybe I'll leave the one on the top, see how that works. It's still a little big. Um, so I could get a little more organic with my cutting, right? Go straight down here and then come around the leaves. Can have my Christmas menu here. That's not awful. I could even shrink this. Let me get this schmutz off my scissors. I watch Kel of a Plan. Do you guys watch Kel of a Plan? I watch her videos and she leaves all that stuff on her stickers. On her scissors, I mean. I don't know how she can handle it. It would drive me crazy to cut with other stuff on my scissors. So if I take that, I don't know if you saw what I did, but I kind of just cut a chunk out of the middle of it in an attempt to make this more narrow. And if I get these little writing lines to line up, the idea I didn't go narrow enough. The idea is that you wouldn't be able to even tell that I made this sticker more narrow. Feasibly, you know, 
logically that should work. So now I can put that there. It still has the stripes which draw attention to it. And you can't even tell I made it narrower and used a bigger, a big sticker for a small sticker. But a small planner, you know what I mean. All right, that'll work. Okay, Whew, that took forever. Moving on to Thursday of break. There is another Newsies performance. So I will grab green today. And Newsies that day, he has two performances. Um, an afternoon and a night, so we'll put that there. He does the same thing on Friday. So I do gold, green, let's do a red. Same exact time on Friday, but I am going to move it up a little to make some room for some other things I need to put down. I cut my washi really wider on that one. See how it's wider here than here, so the sticker overlaps, but I'm good with that. Uh, my daughter has a dance practice. Her dance teacher really wants them to keep having practices over break. So I'll have this sticker that I made. Um, it's just, you know, basically a colorful box, but I can control the size and the color, and I can even get it the rounded edges I like. And then I have this little hexagon with dance shoes in it that I can just put right there. So then I don't even have to write dance practice. I can just write the time because I know it's dance practice because of that little hexagon. All right, Saturday, my husband has more Newsies performances. So we are moving to, let's do another green. And I looked over at my calendar. My husband, or my daughter has another dance practice, believe it or not. Seems a bit much to me, but they do have competition coming up soon, so whatever. So this time I'll use a red box and a green hexagon. So here is the box for dance practice. Why did I not put these even when the print performances are at the exact same time? I don't know, just for interest really. Nothing more than just interest. Dance practice there. Uh, Sunday. Sunday, 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 another set of Newsy performances. These are supposed to be the last one, although I kind of expect them to have some more. They usually, I've, my, my husband and daughter have both done a few shows with the, the um, company who do, is doing this. And um, they've, they usually add one or two performances on because, you know, it's, it's popular and people like it. There is another dance practice scheduled for Sunday, so I will put that in here too. And I would like to use the opposite color for the hexagon just to draw attention to it, but it's not necessary. Now, remember that Samantha Lemon's birthday thing? I am still gonna put that, it's just much smaller now. And I'm gonna stick it way down here where it's not quite as, um, Maybe I'll put it, no, I'm gonna put it down here where it's not quite as um, <laughs> in your face. I'm gonna put it a little bit over the washi because it is funny to see it. She put Samantha Lemon's birthday, very important. And then, that's why I kept this sticker book out, the 30 stickers, because this sticker is the right color and it's kind of one of these laughy emoji faces and I do think it's hysterical that she did that. So I'm gonna put a little laughy emoji face there because that just cracks me up that she did that. Totally cracks me up. I don't even hate this, that's not bugging me. I don't need this extra Newsy sticker. I didn't use either of these kind of yellowish gold boxes that I made, and I have a lot of these gold stickers left. I've, I've been making those lately and not using them, so maybe I should stop making them, I don't know. Uh, technically, that's really all I need. I could fill some other things in, let me just pull out my sticker books and kind of see what I might have been thinking. I mean, yes, I'm going to do some, some um, you know, lists. 
we'll probably do returns on this day, right? Isn't that what everybody does the day after Christmas? Go to the mall and return things. But since I'm gonna be home, I can just come up to my craft room and grab these lists. So I'm just gonna leave these sitting out. I'm gonna leave this page open, just sitting out on my craft desk, and I can just grab it anytime I want and just say, hey, I'm gonna put a to-do list today. And then if I don't do a to-do list, that is fine. I kind of hope when I take a picture of the after the pen that there's not much written. I really kind of hope because most of the time it gets, well, here's like last week, it gets filled up um, if we have a busy life. And so I kind of hope that there's not much else written on this one. It would just kind of make my day. So I guess I'm going to be done. I'm not going to worry about filling in the space with a bunch of stickers. I might do it later for fun, but for today, this is going to be done. So thank you for watching. Um, if you celebrate Christmas, have a great Christmas. If you celebrate another holiday, have a great holiday, whatever that might be. And if you don't celebrate at all, just have a great week. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this whatsoever, please hit the like button and please subscribe. I was so excited. I got to 30, 30 subscribers this week. I know it's pathetic, but like I was so excited. Um, so if, if you like it, please subscribe so you can see more of my videos and um, happy holidays and happy planning.